it's a uh, Atari flashback. Oh, g'day scrappers, welcome to another week in the life of uh, e-waste Ben. <laughs> um, this week's going to look, you know, pretty um, awesome as far as uh, production wise because I'm getting right down on uh, stuff so I'm going to be able to process I don't have any pickups in the next couple of days so I'm going to be able to process quite a bit again and I've got a pickup lined up and I'm not sure what else but uh, we'll see how many pickups we get in the week uh, hopefully not too many um, I still need a, a couple more weeks <laughs> to um, get down stuff so I'm trying to empty this bin and it's just a whole heap of cable and power supplies Obviously, I need to uh, empty some PCs to get cavities so I can um, throw the power supplies into and all that. But yeah, I need bins desperately, empty bins. Um, I've actually got two pickups lined up. One's a school and one is a household IT technician that has got one of my bins there. So that's another bin back. Um, and this bin is just full of uh, all kinds of things, modems, cables goodness knows what so these two bins i need need to empty really quickly to uh, be able to throw in um, circuit boards like um, laptop motherboards and pci cards so that's what i'm doing so far this week and then i'm going to give this bin a bit of a wash because it's been sitting under the tree and birds have been pooing all over it and uh yeah but uh really getting down i do have to uh, start processing these point of uh, all-in-ones um, the max and stuff so I'll just see if it starts driving me crazy I'm just going to send off the monitors to um, to the transfer station and let them deal with it uh, because I do have a lot of industrial stuff I want to get into get all get rid of all that too and just bins everywhere that are uh, full of cable uh, and, and knickknacks there's three at the back there and I just got to sort out a whole lot of things so many things to do but uh, yeah, so I'm just going to make a start and uh, at least empty one bin here and, uh, and then we'll uh, just go from there. Okay, well I'm at, uh, at a hospital research centre. It was just an uh, unexpected call and they wanted it to be done today. So uh, yeah, here we go start of the week and um an unexpected pickup so uh yeah all right got a couple more to um to do after this but uh whew, it's going to be a busy week again i think okay all right uh. All right. All right. Gosh. Next one. <laughs> no, not that one. Not that one. Not this. Not just the one in the house. This. This. Yeah. yeah. Back Mac. Yeah. Protect that one. All right. Oh dear.
You busy? Yeah. Always, huh? Early gen i5s. Get after the new way cycle. Oh. Okay. Ah, oh. a lot of PCs this time. Sometimes it's just UPSs. So nice change. Four, six, eight, nine, ten, thirteen, sixteen, twenty PCs so far. Seven. <laughs> UPS, hey, <laughs> there has to be one. Oh, okay. Do you want the whole box or, or individually? Um, it doesn't matter. If you need to get rid of the box, I'll get rid of it for no, you. No, I mean, it's up to you. We can, we can dismantle it, but it's just because it's all sitting and yeah. you have space. Yeah, yeah. yeah I can. I can. Okay. Oh, that's all right. It was only one little UPS. So, uh, I can handle one UPS. Pity I just sent off the batteries, but um, uh, one's all right. All right. Let's go back and continue this crazy week again. Okay, now I just need to empty the van and uh, most of the PCs are going to be sold. So this is my storage vault, <laughs> the other van. Uh, it's already got PCs and laptops and stuff to uh, send to my buyer in a week. 
So instead of just taking out all the PCs, bring them in, I just load them straight into the van and, and we're done. Kill two birds. Still got uh, quite a lot of junk to deal with um, as well. Don't know what's in those boxes, all kinds of things by the looks of it. Um, but yeah, some of the monitors that are good, especially the uh, Big Mac there, and all the PCs, there's about, yeah, probably about 30 PCs. So uh, yeah, straight into the back of the van, I guess. Got uh, Indian cricket teams across the road. So they're playing their Bollywood uh, music flat out. <laughs> So yeah, um, you know, they're Core i5s, they're nice little units, these Dell opt Optiplexes and uh, another version. But yeah, early gen i5s, but I still get, a, you know, a bit better than scrap value. Um, so that's all I'm going to be doing. Empty this fan out because I've got a couple of more pickups to do and Yeah, so, okay, this one's too old, so that's going to be scrapped, but uh, at least it's a nice day today, got me shorts on, uh, it's a core 2, so again, core 2 old, <laughs> yeah, so, uh, see what the school brings me uh, uh, when I uh, do it hopefully um, I get a stack of some good laptops to add to the collection here I think these ones these HP's are all too old yeah too old not even worth bringing them to my buyer, dragging them all the way there and then having to drag them all back. Just process them. So it looks like just the little... Looks like just these uh, little ones. That's all right. All right. Yes, yeah, so I'll keep going here. Fill up this... Uh, or empty that van and fill up this one and... Uh, start processing stuff they gave me a lot of um, these uh, monitor stands unfortunately they're really awkward to sit around I just throw them into scrap steel but yeah what do you do and printers uh, yeah all right, yeah, so I'll just keep going here. Um, I've also got to do a run to the transfer station and drop off um, a heap of monitors that I've got around the back and keyboards and stuff, get rid of them. Uh, this one's too small to sell. So I take the stand throw them in scrap metal and just throw these uh, to the transfer station all right well leave it with me I'll do this boring bit it's a weird gadget scientific scaling amp I don't know uh, some hard drives and stuff in there yeah, all right, leave it with me and uh, we'll just continue on with the week. So this is me for the next half hour. And uh, then, yeah, start processing everything and yeah, we'll just, uh, we'll see how we end up. We'll take all these in. All right, leave it with me. All right. All the desktops, all the 
servers, monitors, monitors, screen. Uh, we just use keep it for keep that. Yep. All right. And remaining are all like the computers, um, iPads, keyboards, keyboards, and oh. uh, some of the speaker like uh, Wi-Fi speakers. Okay. Um, the TVs. I might see if I can get them first. Yeah, sure. Okay. Oh, three. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a big one. <laughs> like it's not a huge problem like school. Small problem. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll take them out. Oh, here I am at a school doing a, a little pickup. Then I've got another uh, bin pickup to do on the way back. Okay. Well, if I've ever got a reason to go to the transfer station, now is it. Um, yeah, I've got a lot of... Um, PC... Monitors to... Uh, drop off as well okay three big TVs huh. yeah hopefully we get some better stuff Got to be a bit of walking up and down. Oh. All right. 
Okay. Um, where do I start? UPS. Um, I thought these were camping chairs or something. They're some kind of light. <sighs> oh, they're, they're actual sign, sign things. I can, I'll get rid of them for you. Yeah, no worries. Oh, okay, yep. Okay. Um. Keep him busy? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Sounds good. All right. This. Uh, yeah, yeah. That one is in some audio equipment. Ah. Yeah. Okay. As long as it doesn't blow up on me, I'm. <laughs> we're uh, all right. <coughs> okay. I've got to pack towards the front because I've got to pick up a bin and I've got to get the bin in eventually. Uh, said this is some kind of audio kit. We'll check that out. PCs. Oh dear. Oh, he... he wants me to get rid of these. I don't know what to do with them. Got a 
finish off with a monitor. Do you need? Oh, looks like I'm going to have to go through the back. Wasn't too bad. Okay, well, that's a couple of little jobs done. I got one of my bins back. Uh, it's just a real old school, unfortunately. probably too old yeah this is uh, was from a technician's house so he's a regular client and uh, this was just stuff that he had lying around doesn't look like there's much bit of cable certainly wasn't really worth dropping off a bin but oh well all right but at least I got it back now I've got one spare in case uh, someone needs their bin swapped over and yeah I'm still filling up this stuff with sellables so I've got a few pieces in there I think from the school that'll go in so I need to empty the van again because uh, I got a call a message to uh, do a pickup tomorrow as well so oh, it's all coming in it's not really getting much of a, a chance to uh, <laughs> catch up as much as I want oh look at that just must be a hundred of them here pity I didn't get any iPad minis but This goes straight to my buyer. He, he won't buy him. <laughs> but uh, at least he'll be able to pass them on, you know. That's just the main thing. And this looks like a box of little... Little UPSs. A few iPads. Not charging. Uh, yeah, I've got an iPad buyer as well. Um, so that's what I'll do with them. Uh, it's a projector. Yep, my buyer buys these. Doesn't pay much for them, but still, at least I don't have to scrap them out. Yeah. And these three televisions, I'm just going to leave them in here because um, they're, they're huge, but they don't take up much space sitting like that. So, yeah, so I could do the pickup tomorrow and leave these in there. And then when I finish with that pickup, 
I'm going to load up the van with a whole heap of uh, monitors to take to the transfer station. I have front row to go. I have no idea this. No idea what this is. I think it's got something to do with audio visual. like a big speaker or something huh. I might I might take it to my buyer and see he might say oh yeah oh yeah we get some of them sometimes and yeah I'll give you 10 bucks for it so no worries <laughs> Um, the other interesting thing is what is in this case. Okay, impact. I don't know what this is. I think he also said it's some sort of audio visual. Uh, so just in case, I'll take it to my buyer. You know, worst scenario is I've got to just bring it back. But you know, he gets a lot more e-waste, so he he's probably seen. Um, that kind of stuff before so yeah uh, the PCs are um, too old by the looks of it might give this to my buyer as well Ah, oh, things we do, hey? <coughs> HP Elite Desk I think they're too old give me an indication I check out the RAM well it's an 8 bit gig RAM so I don't think these are too old they've had the hard drive removed obviously which is good but uh, yeah instead of uh, I'll take the risk and I'll take them to my buyer you know, if they got eight gig RAM sticks from a, a school, um, they don't have any. I could look them up. Um, that's what he'll probably do anyway. I'd take off the the business, you know, or the school's, you know, ID. Okay, so yeah, I'm just going to plot along here and well, that's good if I can fill up uh, with a, most of the PCs. There are some servers that are going to um, definitely be scrapped. Servers are uh, a different kettle of fish. But yeah, it's just a, uh, it's a never ending thing. And like I said, tomorrow now I've got a, a pickup at a museum. 
they've got five of my bins there as well so maybe I'll get a few of them back too Okay, wow. <sighs> okay, apparently this is all mine. Oh, great. Projector remote controls. <laughs> Goodness. Oh, there's some nice cable. All right. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Sure, they put it in a big enough. Oh, that weighs a ton. Oh, giant boxes. Hey, I just picked up one of these uh, yesterday's pickup. The same thing. They're Iron Alley. It's all cable and heavy cable. <sighs> ah, it looks like got uh, some big display monitor and this one oh. a bit of an obstacle course to get around Wow. Well, I don't know why they give me paper. Oh, there's no way. Wow. Wow. Uh, 250 bucks worth in that. Oh, God. That's too heavy. I hate when they do that. PC. Oh, that's heavy too. <sighs> That's a nice cable. Oh no, more remote controls. Oh well. Oh, look at that. <coughs> ah. Just coax.
server. I don't want so many um, plastic tubs. I uh, remember them. Uh, what were they? Little uh, NUCs. Ten of them. Wow, some heavy cable here too. Oh God. These Phillips speakers. Just scrap metal, They're damn heavy. That out. That's going to be a bit of work. <sighs> okay. Oh, look at that. Look at all that wire. Switches, and routers, and video. Wow. I've got to check these ones here. Yeah? Motu. I don't know what they are. When you know it right at the bottom of the box, they put this switch. How do they expect people to lift the boxes? <laughs> Quite funny. Yeah, we'll throw it all in the box and yeah, he'll just come and pick it up. <laughs>
At least there's some RAM at the bottom of the box. All right. All right. Well, I haven't uh, had much of a chance to actually process stuff um, so far. Been doing little bits and pieces in between, but uh, yeah, it's it's just all the pickups. And uh, I actually just came back from the transfer station where I dropped off about 40 monitors, um, keyboards, and some televisions that I picked up. So um, didn't put that on video, but it's done now <laughs> thank goodness for that uh just cleared off all the monitors off the property there's just so many but uh so i've got this tub here that uh was the accumulation of two wheelie bins of stuff that i just uh, emptied here um so this is what i've got a process to empty this tub um, this is already my second tub of motherboards and uh, as you know it was only a couple of weeks ago that I uh, took in all my boards and I'm already um, pretty much uh, I've got enough to send off another batch but I just don't uh, have the time to uh, get it all organized I've got a, a lot of stuff to uh, process uh, in the meantime but hey at least, uh, yeah, we've we've done a lot, uh, you know, uh, maintaining the uh, levels down pretty good here. Uh, same with the bins and all that cable that I just picked up. Uh, there's one wheelie bin chock-a-block full of it now. I just had to uh, unload from the van into a wheelie bin, like I had one, uh, just got this one uh, empty. So... Yeah, and there's my other tub of motherboards. We're already chock-a-block full, so... And uh, still got more motherboards in here that I've got to take out. And this is my high-grade board. But anyway, yeah, so it's a... A, a weird uh, video because I, I didn't expect to do so many pickups um, in this video. I thought I was just going to be processing stuff and uh, getting closer into the garage. <laughs> uh, but... You know that's how every week kind of goes it just you just can't plan anything to uh, um, you know to say okay I'm gonna make a video and this is what it's gonna be about and all that um, or roughly you know I had an idea what I was going to be doing but uh, yeah that uh, that's fine uh, no matter what I'm doing it's all you know good either bringing something in or processing stuff uh, so you know this is just you know some cable just rather than um, you know tipping it into another bin and just leaving it just get, get this you know rid of this box at least you know put the box in cardboard recycling and uh, yeah empty that t uh, big tub so I can um, start packing it with other things. It might have to be another plastic tub. Uh, yeah. So cutting cords out of a box uh, kind of takes, it does take, you know, quite a lot of time. And uh, initially it doesn't look like you get anywhere, but if you just keep cutting the plugs off, uh, eventually uh, we end up with clean wire. Just what we do and I, I need uh, to process uh, some PCs just for cavities for all this sort of rubbish I've got three tubs full already so uh, I don't like to just um, take the tubs into the scrapyard and tip it I prefer to put it into um, into cavities so when it tips it all stays it, so it's not loose because uh, really loose crumbly stuff that would uh, you know, it's no good for the scrapyard either because they need, when they tip it out, they're going to need to uh, pick it all up. And I got um, out of that wheelie bin that I picked up from that house, um, there were a couple of laptops and PCs, as I mentioned. 
but I didn't didn't notice this right at the bottom. It's a uh, Atari flashback. So I'd imagine that. Uh, so Atari flashback mini seventy eight hundred. I'd imagine this is like a, uh, a you know a remake of retro system. So um, obviously it's not the original Atari system, but it, it might have. Um, I'm not really sure because I can't see uh, yeah okay so there's one plug missing um, I'm not really sure where they actually where you connect the game oh yeah this might be it so this might go into oh this is that yep okay so we've got the full kit but uh yeah, it connects to video, so I'm not sure if there are just inbuilt games already in there because there's no connection to connect to uh, or put a cartridge in or anything like that. So yeah, it might just be a pre. I have to look it up, but hey, at least it's got the joysticks and stuff. So just a little, you know, you know, I like my gaming stuff, so I like to have all the different ones, different you know, oddball versions, and uh, you know. Just a bit of fun, really, for me. No, you know, there wouldn't be much value in it. Um, but uh, still, it's the first one I've seen, so yeah, I've got to check it out and see just roughly uh, what year it came out, and uh, and see what it's all about. But yeah, I do suspect uh, it will be inbuilt with uh, a few of the classic games or something like that. Uh, I don't know. Who knows? Got so much going on, hard to even think. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so just got to uh, go through the motions here and just just uh, not be too picky at the moment and try and uh, get myself a bit more organised before I start processing. Um, you know the PCs and servers that I've got left just to fill up the cavities with the rubbish and and then we'll go from there I'll still end up probably going to the scrapyard with scrap metal and um, a few of the tubs full with rubbish because I just don't don't have enough big boxes to uh, yeah so this is me um, for part of today and yeah just the quicker I get through this junk the quicker I get to the more bigger things <sighs> but I have done a lot of power supply cable cutting over the last uh, few weeks actually um, so my my wheelie bin of cable is already uh, just about full uh, that was really quick I only just got it emptied um, and we got a few little uh, Cisco um, telephone adapters there's not much of a board in here but um, yeah in this batch I did pick up a lot of them your modems all right well that's one cardboard box done hippie Next table processed ready to go um, I've got to I've got to uh, get a crate and step into this bin push it down try and you know so I can fit uh, as much as I can in there yeah we just keep going just a real tangle of cable it's it's uh, it's a it's a bit of a nightmare because <laughs> you know you just can't get it out so I'm just gonna have to uh, cut me way through here and there's not only uh, cable but uh, Quite often, I get this uh, these um, laptop locks, 
on a cable so you can't even cut through them <laughs> it's just uh, scrap steel you know um, uh, yes so this thing this was yeah some old school thing I don't know Gosh, printer. Okay. been um, dealing with so much uh, cable lately it's good I mean it's part of the business uh, it's part of the whole game and um, it is time-consuming but it's still it's the main cash flow really oh well aside from really good uh, PCs and laptops that you can actually sell that's the easiest cash flow because there's nothing you have to do apart from passing them on. But uh, and a lot of phones, I've got to make a decision what to do um, when I empty this tub. I might even end up just throwing um, a whole heap of phones into this tub and sending the whole lot off as uh, plastic recycling. Complete phones. Uh, um, just depends how I feel, how much time I want to put into them. Okay. That should do me for now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So it's not hard work, it's just boring after a while, you know, when you've done uh, millions of plugs. <laughs> it's, uh, the only problem with doing it this way, this is uh, office stuff, so there's nothing really interesting here, but. You know, when you're picking up a mixture of residential cable, then you're, you're getting power supplies for gaming consoles and things that you might want. And uh, so um, it's harder to, you can't just cut your way through. Um, you want to sort of go through what you got. And, hmm. Yep, but... Yeah, it's a good thing cable is uh, priced so well at the moment. Um, it makes even processing cable, you know, worth it to clean it up. You know, some yards um, around the world, they don't require you to cut the plugs off. Um, I mean, we don't have to either. We can just take it into the scrapyard with the plugs, but obviously, you're going to get a much lower price so yeah it's just up to the individual whether they want to uh, spend um, their time or not this sort of fluoro stuff this is usually it's just um, yeah, this one might be different but yeah usually it's it's not even copper wire it's uh, it's just fiber optic stuff so there's no no value in there whatsoever um, but, uh, yeah. Yeah. And then you know you do a little tub like this doesn't really make a big dent on um, what you've got but uh, you know you look at the time and oh there goes another hour two hours um, 
and the day is just getting later and later and you know you look around and think what did I actually do I can't see any progress you know but it it does sort of after a you know after a while it all sort of sort of falls together and where it looks everything still uh, got a lot of stuff everywhere and then all of a sudden bang it's all gone and you think wow I either had a really big day or <laughs> it was just a progressive thing that just uh, yeah eventually happens um, so that's the one th good thing to look forward to is when I turn around and say wow where is it all and it's all uh, processed cashed in transferred recycled you know like uh, just after today just dro dropping off uh, the all the monitors to the transfer station you know I was such a relief you know to uh, be driving back with an empty van and knowing that um, a whole heap of stuff has uh, just been taken care of so yeah all right well so this is me for a little while process uh try and process all the cable or as much as i can out of that tub and uh yeah i might actually get into scrapping stuff and uh trying to make a difference on the volumes um so yeah i'll just continue on here for a while guys well i just about had enough of uh cutting cords <laughs> uh, done a couple hours stint of that and I've just about done it um, but I do need a lot of cavities for all the plugs and stuff because they're building up so yeah as it turns out it's a it's a real weird <laughs> week for me um, it's just yeah, just been really oddball. Uh, so, oh, well, we'll see how next week goes. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be completely different again. And yeah, we'll just see how we go. But uh, yeah, I, I honestly, when I started this particular video, I thought, okay, well, it's going to be a real mixed week and probably mostly scrapping and it turned out complete opposite uh, but uh, I've got this thing here not much to it but certainly got some uh, really nice cards a couple identical ones um, that's not bad and your standard video card yeah big wad of cable here but yeah what a crazy week and um, I'm probably really overdue for a, a holiday or something but you know I don't want to go anywhere or do anything like that um, but the thing is if I'm here um, you know I, I can't avoid uh, the work you know and um, I don't want to knock back any pickups either, so I've sort of always got to be on the ready. Um, but my buyer has come back from holidays, I, I'm pretty sure, this week. So um, I'm going to have to go and see my buyer and uh, sell the stuff that I, I have. Uh, where am I going here? Because uh, my van has had stuff for him for uh, nearly three weeks. I've started packing stuff in there just to uh, get it off the garage floor and give me more access. But um, yeah, not a lot of uh, monetary value, I don't think. Uh, it might be a little bit, you know, it's certainly going to be, you know appreciated any every cent I get but um, 
it's more to just get the van empty so when I go and do long distance pickups and stuff I prefer to take the new van and uh, yeah except for when it's I know it's going to be overload then yeah I prefer to do then do it in the old van that way I can just throw stuff around and not worry about the walls getting dented etc but yeah, a real strange, strange week and um, yeah, pretty exhausted actually. <laughs> um, yeah. I thought I had the screws, but I had the wrong screws. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. If it wasn't for the fact that I, uh, you know, I need s so many cavities to throw in uh, plugs and stuff, um, I'd be still doing plugs. But I just got, you know, already building four tubs of plugs that um, need to go. So. It's a, uh, interestingly, you know, the world seems to have sort of quietened down a bit. I think everyone's sort of holding their breath and waiting on how the economy is going and, uh, and how the rest of the world is, uh, going you know like you got the bricks that are you know guys that are going to be trading uh, in other currencies other than the US dollar um, it's probably not really good for the US probably not even really good for us here in Australia because you know we're also oh, that's a lot of cable so I, I take these cables in uh, the power supplies into the scrapyard because I get irony alley for it, irony aluminium um, for the whole thing complete. If I cut the if I cut the cable off, um, that just goes as uh, scrap steel, right? So I've got a, a deal where I can, you know, because there's so much copper wire. But in this case, there is too much copper wire. So I'll grab a strand, you know, I'll pick it. I pick out a couple of good strands and I'll cut a bit out, right, and so cut the plug off, and so this obviously is selling it as uh, insulator wire, so I do remove a little bit sometimes when it's just overkill, um, in other cases it balances out because you get very little cable coming from your power supply, and then you've got um, uh, server power supplies that don't have cable at all and they get thrown in so I try not to take too much um, I try and give them um, a, a lot so it balances out with the ones that don't have any cable coming from them but if it was just uh, server power supplies with no cable coming from them um, really the, it's just scrap steel um, unless you uh, spend the time and open it up yourself and you know, you get your aluminium, your co copper, and the uh, extra bit of wire that's in there. Um, but yeah, with the bricks and stuff, uh, and just, um, you know, just the way the economy is going all over the world, uh, Japan and uh, Germany and, um, yeah, just everywhere, um, even here in Australia. Uh, I think everyone should keep uh, preparing for that and um, don't underestimate what, you know, what could possibly happen and just, uh, yeah, as far as um, prepping and stuff, uh, uh, how, how do you prep for uh, something like that, apart from making sure you've got a bit of a stockpile of... Um, you know, your beans and rice and spam and <laughs> whatever else. 
you like, you know, uh, just, you know, pasta and sauce and uh, toilet paper and uh, remember that. Um, just all that stuff and uh, yeah, probably, um, yeah, assets I think are worth more buying real things rather than uh, just you know, if you've got money in the bank, there's a copper stacker underneath the steel. Um, in this case, you know, yeah, they do take a bit of work to uh, cut through and stuff, but uh, yeah, for some it's worth it. Um, so let's just hope everything uh, goes okay and, uh, you know, we can still live a life in uh, comfort and and we can still go out scrapping and make a you know a few bucks i mean but uh yeah um luckily scrap steel and scrap metal in general is really really good in price um excellent in price and if, you, if you're not getting good prices shop around um you'll be surprised that uh, you know the difference you can find in scrap yards you know so don't just go to your closest one and think oh that's it you know give them a call first and say hey you know what are you uh, buying you know scrap steel for or what are you buying scrap you know copper wire for um yeah and find out and um just go to the the guys that you know uh pay the best um you know uh some people like to be loyal to, you know, one scrapyard, and uh, that's all right as long as the scrapyard is, uh, you know, being fair and and stuff. But some of the prices that I've heard, um, you know, just in YouTube comments and stuff, you know, guys saying, "Oh, you know, I'm in I'm in this state, and I all I got was, uh, you know." basically uh nothing you know uh scrap metal prices for scrap copper wire um yeah so shop around and sometimes you've got to take different things to different yards and that's usually because um you know yards will have different deals with um places and some place might say hey you know uh we need, uh, we're trying to fill up a container of, uh, you know, whatever it is, you know, brass, you know, and um, so we're paying a little bit extra for brass this week and, and so on then. Um, or, well, what I'm really talking about is, uh, is the, the scrapyards themselves where their buyers, yeah, will have, you know, you'll get uh, various different scrap metal yards or big scrap metal dealers contacting yards and saying hey you got any brass at the moment or you got uh, insulated copper wire well every scrap yard knows where to best get rid of that for, for them but um, yeah you know same as batteries and stuff like that there might be a company that just just wants a whole heap of batteries um, and uh, it might be just for their own research, just to see if they can, you know, they're trying to, re you know, get into recycling batteries and seeing, um, you know, what they can do with it. But they need the, the they need the actual, um, the batteries to uh, do the research. So um, these uh, scrapyards, yeah, they find oddball buyers. And so the same on a smaller level, instead of just going to that same scrapyard, um, if you're not really confident that the prices they're giving are, are good, like I'm lucky because I know my scrapyard is uh, pretty competitive on just about everything. Um, but yeah, like I said, occasionally uh, things might go down, but some things stay the same because they've got a special deal with, uh, you know, the buyer of that particular thing let me just get rid of this and so that's kind of how they attract customers in a way is by um, 
getting good deals for themselves and then giving those deals um, oh, yeah. <laughs> sort of we're just walking around here but I've got a few of these um, they're kind of like in I think they're inverters yeah, in a way or uh, some part of a uh, solar system but it's basically all just aluminium and I'm I'm just trying to catch up on these it's a bug that's been buggered and yeah so I didn't realize my buyer was coming back from holidays um, so thank goodness for that finally get the other van moving and hopefully be able to uh, sell some stuff some laptops and some PCs a little bit better better than scrap value but if I didn't have much stock on hand um, that's stainless I'd probably just scrap out the PCs instead of taking them to my buyer because if you're only getting five to ten bucks uh, for, for that trouble, might as well just scrap them, you know. But um, because I do have so much stuff, it's uh, it still saves me time and especially little PCs because. I don't have much cavity to fill them up with junk, so you know the r regular little ones from schools, etc. Um, yeah, there's no extra value, whereas uh, a PC, regular PC, if I scrap it, great, you know, I, I get a cavity that I can fill up. A lot of times these risers can be steel. In this case, it's brass. Um, or the other way around. <laughs> you could also say in a lot of cases they're brass. In this case, it was steel. <laughs> but they can be different, like this one here. It doesn't have the thread. Uh, it's the same. Sometimes they can alternate. Um, a lot of little screws here. So basically... Once I get this board out, um, I mean, technically, if I didn't want to waste time on this, it's got a couple of transformers, I could just um, just throw it straight into Ioni Alley and get Ioni Alley for everything, even like the transformers, so you get better value there. Obviously, I'd cut off a bit of cable, but, um, uh, you know, this isn't too difficult to... Uh, completely scrap it just takes quite a bit of time um, and you do get you know obviously once I get all the clean aluminium and a lot of it's extruded um, you know, sometimes I've got to get a bit extra value from stuff uh, how's this board jeez so in the center here um, you know where it's got some IC chips this this section here is like a mid-grade or a peripheral uh, but everything else from there onwards that's all low grade and same everything from here onwards it's all low grade copper recovery base so it's kind of a weird one but you know they're only tiny little chips all I see is a gold band crystal oscillator I'd take that and then this is a low grade board which I don't bother selling to my buyer so I'll probably just take off the capacitors, throw them into irony aluminium. Okay, so irony aluminium me or dirty aluminium. So it's aluminium with other impurities. Um, and so that's how you sell them complete. Uh, irony alley. Well, that's how I do anyway. Um, a lot of people don't bother. Uh, but... You know, it's up to you. These big ones are, you know, reasonably heavy, so they. It's certainly better than just sending it off. Um, as uh, you can go, some scrapyards. Uh, uh, there's one near me. They buy uh, circuit boards, but it's just one price and something like fifty cents a kilo. 
and it's so it doesn't matter you could bring him PC motherboards you know which I pay you know nearly four dollars a kilo they'll pay you 30, 50 cents a kilo um, or this sort of stuff 50 cents a kilo so it's higher half iron the alley and so they get their copper and they get their iron and, and all that um, obviously they're not worried about the the circuit boards and stuff are uh, the uh, IC chips as much um, so yeah any board you can take to uh, like heart heart recycling here in um, wherever I Leverton in Brooklyn but um, yeah and there's not much to depopulate here you can go for these relays I'm not sure if these relays actually usually they're black but uh, yeah yeah, just too solid. I think they're a sealed unit, so they don't have the copper. It's usually this black one that will have a little copper coil. So I usually, usually I, I like like to take these ones and deal with them later with all the copper. Nice. I'll just get that black band. I'll I'll probably just throw this whole thing into pressing steel, scrap steel. So. I don't bother taking them in uh, to get the 50 cents, so I'm happy to just sell them for 35. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Oh, we've got a little mid grade. And yeah, it's, these things are just a matter of cleaning up a little bit. Mid grade board. There we go, we've got a couple of transformers here. And. Um, you know, nice brass, chunky brass risers to clean up. And all good aluminium, you know, so. I think it's worth spending the few minutes. But a lot of these chunky, really chunky uh, risers, brass. So they, <laughs> they're serious weight, little buggers. So there's a few of them that'll be part of cleaning it. Um, probably have to, yeah, I think I'm just going to have to remove the front cover. And that'll be one nice chunk of aluminum, if you like. Nice, and this will go into, um, I guess it's cast and then polished. Yeah, uh, it's it's not really extruded, although maybe it, it was extruded. Uh, I'm not really sure. It's really hard to tell if this, you know, extruded this way. Uh, but um, yeah, more like cast. So I'm happy to put this in cast. Um, but a nice chunk anyway. And look at that. That's all. That's all extruded. Pretty much the whole thing is just about extruded, except for the front and back plates. Ah. And I was looking for screws to undo the transformers. They're just uh, there. You go. And these transformers are actually easy to uh, scrap out if uh, you wanted to go further. I'll just cut, you know, got some nice copper wire there. Um, yeah, these ones that uh, don't have the steel um, surround, uh, they're just uh, ferrite, you know, that ferrite stuff. So um, these are actually easy to get the copper out and probably worth it, just depending on your time. I don't worry if they're obviously all this is steel. I'll just throw it straight in transformers, but um, in this case, ferrite still goes as scrap steel. You can see it's just two pieces stuck together. Right? How easy is that? Didn't have to do any bashing or anything. And they're ferrite.
totally uh, magnetic. Right. So we put them as steel. You could also, even the chunky ones, you could also put them into a higher grade steel. And then under here, just got a little uh, piece of tape. And we'll just see if the copper is uh, clean or whether it's wound up with uh, sticky tape. Okay, it's got a bit of tape, but not much. Look at that. Okay, this is what scrappers, scra scrappers work for. This is the good stuff. Uh, yeah, so rather than sending it off as a transformer and getting quite low, most of the weight was in those ferrite things and so we're still getting a similar price, a little bit less because it's scrap steel, um, in, you know, instead of transformer. But this stuff is worth uh, nearly $12 a kilo now as opposed to selling it as a transformer for um, 50 cents a kilo or so. Just, uh, it's getting heavy. But there is a decent wad of copper in these ones. Like I said, without the steel surround, just the ferrite surround, and it's just sticky tape together. And there we go. And all we've got is just a flimsy little light piece of plastic. So there's very little rubbish. And I can cut off some of this taped one and put this into insulated wire with its own tape. And there we go. And that is a serious weight. I mean, it's a, it's a beautiful weight. I mean, it's like a, a quarter pounder, maybe more, and a cheeseburger. <laughs> But, um, so that's just from one transformer. So, you know, and especially if you're uh, into melting, wow, you know, that's awesome. Um, whereas, like I said, the other transformers I don't bother that are completely steel, uh, steel surrounds or just uh, sometimes the copper wire is individually, each layer is uh, wrapped with um, sticky tape. Um, and it's just too time consuming with these. As soon as I saw it, I knew exactly what it was, and it's, yeah, I'll take these all day long. And it's just his back. Yeah, so, oh well. A really strange uh, week in the life video, but uh, you get the idea on how it is. It's just really hard to you know, um, try and plan anything and because everything goes pear-shaped. I'll probably clean this up, take all the uh, the plugs out and um, another cast. And yeah, that's, that's it. Uh, I think it's actually two... It's strange. Okay, yeah. So if I can separate these pieces, it will be a lot easier to uh, uh, sell them as uh, extruded. If they get too big at my scrapyard, um, they they only buy it at, as cast. They put it into the, their cast. So I oh yeah, there we go. Ah. Oh, there's one. So, <laughs> this is what I was trying to get to. Um, just uh, three smaller pieces of extruded aluminium, and now I should be able to get away with selling them as extruded, and that's obviously extruded again. It's, uh, they're all individual pieces, but these uh, plates, were extruded, as you can see, and then the base plate also extruded. So it is extruded aluminium, just sometimes they don't want to accept them as uh, as that because it's all about their baling system. Uh, 
yeah, I, I, I don't bother arguing with them. But anyway, yeah, that was interesting. That was good. Uh, I got a few more of these. Still got to get a bit of brass off. But I got a few more of these. Uh, just want to get rid of and yeah, just continue on with the clean up of everything. Um, so I, I think, uh, yeah, like I said, it's a really strange video. So I think I'm just going to wrap it up here because I don't, I can't even remember what, how, how the video actually started <laughs> until I uh, start editing. Wow. So I think, um, let me, I don't have many uh, pickups booked um, for the next week or so. And like I said, my, my van here is full of uh, laptops and PCs and stuff to uh, send to my buyer. So I'll probably do that uh, next week or through the week. And um, yeah, might do another video like this. Uh, not really sure. We'll just see how we go. Just like I said, I, I, I think I start something and then it uh, changes completely. But this is my second tub of motherboards and uh, it's already virtually full. So I'm going to have to uh, do my other buyer as well. Uh, you know, even stacked laptops. Uh, they're just scrap laptops. Um, you know, so I'm already got building up a lot of stuff to, uh, to send off to two buyers. So I'm going to do that. And I've got to go and uh, this one tub here of copper wire, then that other full bin that I picked up, uh, just needs a bit of cleaning up, copper wire. And these are all my tubs with plugs and stuff. And, and so they're building up a lot. Um, yeah, so I need PCs and cavities just to throw all that junk into. And, um, but I tell you what, pretty soon, uh, I reckon in a few weeks time, you'll start seeing uh, me walking back in through this thing and uh yeah and so we'll see how i go but i think i'm due for for a bit of a break so um i as far as board buying is concerned i uh wanted to uh finish that up for the year at um at the end of november no later than the first week of december um and uh, that way I can clear out everything uh, before Christmas to my buyer and uh, we'll just do it like that and just give me a few weeks a few weeks off in December and probably the first week of January. Um, I just want to have a bit of a break and obviously I can't have a complete break because I've got to still keep processing things because no doubt, you know, come Christmas time it does get really busy. So, yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm going to just have to stop a few things like buying boards um, in December and um, that way it's just going to give me more time and room to uh, bring all the Christmas rush in and, uh, yeah, and try and have a break at the same time. All right, guys, well, there you go. What a strange, strange week in a life video. I, you know, just did not expect how this one was going to turn out, but just how it is. Uh, hopefully the next one there's going to be a lot more interesting scrapping but uh, yeah every week's different you just don't know how it goes so uh, keep scrapping have fun and I'll catch you real soon